Hello everyone, uh, Arkansas Dave 1974 here, and I'm about to make an encrypted, persistent, Parrot Security USB stick. It's going to be a just a, a regular live installer, except that it's going to be uh, the home partition is going to be encrypted, which means all my files will be secure, uh, encrypted behind a password of my choosing, and it's going to have persistence, which means that uh, it will be able to store all files and settings that I add to it, uh, Wi-Fi passwords, things like that, uh, will will save in it just like if it was a hard drive installed. It's going to be able to save any work I do, uh, which comes in very handy for me. And uh, well, I, I made a tutorial about this a couple of years ago, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I can do a little smoother job nowadays. It's been a couple of years, and I've done this a few more times, and. I won't look so lost as I did in my last one. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to show you how I do it. First I'm going to open a terminal and uh, start by running lisblk, L-S-B-L-K, which will list my uh, current partitions that are mounted. And then I'm going to plug in my USB stick and the, as you can see uh, I'm using Manjaro Linux to do this, but uh, as far as I know, this will work the same for any Linux. Uh, whatever Linux you're running, you can run these same commands and make, make the same stick that I'm making or make, I believe, any Debian-based installer can be made with encrypted persistence. And it can be done very easily thanks to uh, the Kali Wiki, of all things. And they have just a, a wonderfully easy to follow wiki on how to do this and we'll be using that. Uh, so I listed my mounted partitions and I'm going to plug in my stick and run the same command. And as you see SDB appeared and that is my stick. It shows 57.3 gigabytes which I don't think is quite accurate uh, but so be it. That is my 64 gig SD card and like I said it's a 3.0 so this should go really quickly. Now the first thing I'm going to do is get root access. Uh, I'm going to switch user to the root account and uh, I'm going to change directory to where I have my ISO. Now of course you change directory to where you wherever you have your ISO file and I keep mine in documents ISO Linux and I'm going to run a list LS and there it is. Now from here I'm going to DD copy onto my USB stick which is of course SDB. So I'm going to use DD block size equals 4 megabytes and that's what uh, what they recommend in the instructions, I believe, or at least they used to. And uh, input file if is going to equal, and I'm going to copy and paste the name of the ISO file. And as you see, I'm using well, well, what right now I believe is the latest Parrot. I just uh, got it. I don't know about, about a week ago, so I'd be surprised if they've they've come out with anything more recent than that. I'm going to do output file equals slash device sdb dev slash sdb now be very careful here A as you see my hard drive I'm, I'm working on I'm working from I mean is uh, SDA if I were to type an SDA here it would wipe the system I'm using right now and wipe my hard drive clean uh, I don't want to do that so I'm going to be careful and put SDB or whatever the appropriate whatever it says here that your flash drive you're working on be sure you put the SD uh, C or SDD or whatever it might be just don't put whatever your hard drive is because that would be a terrible mistake now I'm gonna put status equals progress oops and, and that will show me a little bit of output while it works and it won't just look like it's frozen uh, while it works I'm going to hit enter. 
and this is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back, and uh, the stick is done with uh, the DD command, and now I have a Parrot Live installer installed on that USB. I could run it just like that if I just wanted to install Parrot to my hard drive or use use the Parrot stick right now. I, I could use it to, say, fix my system or, or something like that. But now I'm going to add the uh, encrypted persistence. First, I'm going to uh, add, add a partition that will be my, to my home partition, and I'm going to encrypt it. So, uh, well, I've seen instructions that say you can use Gparted for this, but I've never been able to even years ago. Like, uh, I'll show you, if I run Gparted and look at SDB, it shows the entire disk is ISO 9960 and it won't let me do anything to it. Uh, I, can, I can format it if I want, I can copy it if I want, or I can resize it. That's my choices right now. And I don't want to do any of those things, so I can't use Gparted. Now, if you can, I suppose you, you can use it, but uh, I can't in Manjaro. Uh, so I'm going to use parted in the command line. And I'm using SDB. I'm, I'm working on SDB, so I'm going to put slash DEV slash SDB. And as you can see, it says using device SDB. Now, first thing I'm going to do is run a print and look at the partitions. Now, this first partition is the, the parrot system. And I'm not sure what's on the second partition, but I always leave it. I assume it's necessary. And I've never had a problem doing that, so I've stuck with it. Now, our next partition, as you can see, the end of the second partition is on 4,003 4, megabytes. So what I'm going to do is make part primary. Oh, let me go back there. Oops, I pasted the name of the file again, space. And then I'm going to copy and paste 4,003 megabytes in. Oops. And then if you look, if you look up here, right here, uh, disk device SDB is 61.5 gigabytes. So I'm going to copy and paste that size as my end block and hit enter. And then I'm going to run print to make sure that uh, it was added and there it is. Then I'm going to quit parted. Now at this point, I'm going to start using the Kali the Kali instructions, and I'm going to open Firefox, and I'm going to do a search for Kali Persistence. And the second one down, it says USB Persistence and Encrypted Persistence. At, uh, well, it, I guess it's not the Kali Wiki, it's the uh, actual Kali.org docs, and that's the one I want. And I'll try to remember to include a link to that in the description below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down. We've already done this parted. I'm going to go down to where it starts with the crypt setup. And what I'm going to start doing is first I'm going to move the terminal over so I can slide over there easily. And I'm going to start copying and pasting. First command is going to encrypt that home partition. And as you can see here, uh, their example is using SDB, SDB as, as well as mine, so that, that's real convenient. I'm just going to be able to copy and paste without changing, but if yours is on SDC or SDD or whatever it might be, you're going to have to change this SDB, SDB3 to SDC3 or SDD3, uh, whatever, whatever disk uh, uh, your system has labeled your flash drive. But like I said, mine is SDB, so that's going to work out nicely. I'm not going to have to change too much. Now the first one's going to encrypt it. I'm going to have to type a YES, and this is just a warning. Anything on your flash drive will be wiped uh, from the very beginning of this tutorial. I sh probably should have mentioned that. 
Uh, hopefully you don't have anything on there that you need to save and hopefully you already know that uh, when you make an installer your di disk gets wiped your uh, flash drive will be wiped so I'm going to type YES hit enter and I'm going to enter the passphrase that I want to use for the encryption and uh, no one will be able to get into the home partition on this stick without this password so I'm going to pick something nice and complex hit enter and then enter the same phrase again and it's working on it now encrypting it and it was successful now we're gonna to have to open that encryption that we just encrypted and we'll have to type the password that we just entered twice we'll enter it one more time to open and it's open and then we're going to start running down the list now here it's it's make file system XT, ext3 but this is 2020 and we're using ext4 now so I'm gonna paste that in and go back and change that to ext4 I can't tell you the benefits of using XT, ext4 over ext3 but I know there are some and I'm gonna hit enter And that's going to take a few seconds it won't take long and I'm just going to work my way down the list copying pasting and that's really all there is to it well And the last command closes the encryption. Oops. Uh. Yeah. I actually put it twice, but uh, it seems to have worked fine. It says it's already closed. I'm going to run that command again. And uh, we have closed the encryption to where it's now locked that's really all there is to it there's nothing more to it it's just a piece of cake it's just a piece of cake uh, well I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it uh, did someone some good and have some fun have a good one everyone hope you enjoyed